There are sections of Bluff Creek that have not been seen in decades. These sections have been left to the wild. The other parts that have been somewhat accessed have had local stories of strange sounds, footprints and sightings by more than a few people. We decided to try and see how far we can get into the untamed section of Bluff Creek. We packed for five days and with the goal of making it four miles to Wright's place on the first day, we set off. Things didn't go our way. All right, starting this hike. Good luck. All right. See you live. Come back with both arms. And no legs. <laughs> if we had to carry water, we'd be so screwed. Like. is already a lot harder than uh, we all expected. Not only is there no trail, but I mean, it's just completely wild back here. You can tell no one's ever walked back here. At the beginning of the trailhead, you can see things like bits of trash and stuff like that. Maybe some uh, trails that were stomped through, but this far up, no one's been over here. We know that at Wright's place and slightly before that, the river runs shallow there you go, boy. and the current runs soft. We kept hoping that it's just up ahead to where the water mellows out. Though we started this for fun, not knowing how far we'd ever make it, I personally expected a few sections with flat ground. So we are pretty much at the same height as the bridge. That last crossing was pretty brutal. It was like waist deep, but the current was just pushing you over. I was gonna say it looks pretty promising until uh So we're gonna try to send the drone up for some reconnaissance and hopefully see if we can pass either over here or this here behind us. What do you think so far, Kip? About as hard as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, for sure. Tate? <laughs> uh, yeah, same as Kip. I'm wondering about that left side. Look at that. That's cool. That looks challenging. That looks so fun. That's the part that concerns me. I don't know if we can hike around that. I can't really see if there I'm losing. I wonder if we can right Check these out. Oh hell yeah. 
We've got some spider web on it, a little protein. Yeah, it's so good. That was really sweet. Damn. Cause, um, I was eating blackberries like that outside of Willow Creek and my group of friends picked me up. Oh yeah. A second I got excited this looks like a nest from the other side but the other side's not built looks like a beaver dam it's pretty intricately built look at that wow how long have we been on the trail for man More than a couple hours, I think. Maybe three, three hours, possibly four. I didn't even look at the time. So the dilemma is, is that some of these places are just impossible. We're not making any, anywhere close to the time we're supposed to be making. And uh, unfortunately, Bandit's just done. Uh, but we did find something up here. It's kind of worth coming up today. So we're gonna show you something that's never been seen before on camera. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it's a challenge to get out, man. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Look at that guy. What's up, dude? Big old tail. Look at him. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, this has set you back. Ah. Moral of the story, uh, we tried to head up from the Bluff Creek Bridge up Bluff Creek, and you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and say we could have done it, but time-wise, it just didn't make any sense, right? I mean, we had four miles to do, and it's just pure bushwhacking and in and out of rocks and boulder hopping, and we've made it, what, a mile at the most, right? Not even. Around, around a mile, and... Um, I felt we moved at the fastest pace possible, but it just comes to a point where everything's unsafe. And well, the guys are down there. Uh, creek is here, obviously. River, the creek. I kind of climbed up trying to find an alternate route, just because uh, there might be something up there. Like the wind is definitely out of our sails at this point. Um, How you feeling, Kip? <laughs> I gotta get something to eat. Same, dude. Ron doesn't have to say how he's feeling, he just looks like it. Yeah, we're definitely on empty and... But, we got some blackberries up in here. Well, we decided to call it a day. There's actually a little beach over there. Uh, where we were earlier we might do that but um yeah we're just we're just absolutely beat and people are starting to get hurt and fall over you know when you're tired you your footing just isn't solid you're trying to take shortcuts so we're gonna just call it a night and sleep in this canyon somewhere tapatio noodles those are hitting the spot right now. At this point, how are you feeling, Jonathan? I feel a lot better than I ate them. Well, here goes camp. 
is where we all ended up on this tiny little, you can see, piece of sand. I was in there, but there's a big old ant trail there. You got Kip, Kip over there, laying down. Get a good night's rest here, hopefully, and do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Dead? Yeah. Saika, you dead, man. We're gonna go squatching right here on this uh, little beach. <laughs> That'll make uh, the swimsuit calorie deer on February. There wasn't one easy piece of, or forgiving piece of, like, land in this whole place. Hiking this was like, um, the Monty Python, that scene, like, <laughs> thou shall not pass. <laughs> if, if this hike was a movie quote, it would be, thou shall not pass. <laughs> Have you ever watched that Monty Python scene, the, uh, what's it called, <laughs> biggest dickest? The guy can't stop laughing, and you know, they're like ordering him to the uh, the lions and stuff like that. Yeah. And no matter how bad his consequence gets, he can't stop laughing. The guy's name is Biggest Dickus. <laughs> There's something wrong with the name Biggest Dickus. <laughs> you know who had the craziest, okay, craziest Bigfoot death? Craziest Bigfoot death in any movie was uh, uh, Rowdy. You, did yeah. you see Rowdy's Bigfoot yeah. death? <laughs> He yeah. played. He played Jack LaRoche in um, was, the uh, Lost Coast tapes. Lost Coast. I have it on DVD. Yeah, actually. it it had so much potential that it was just like not good. Like, it, was, it was. You know, it was weird. It was a Bigfoot movie, but like the Bigfoot was protecting the people from this Wendigo. Yeah, that was too far, man. And I'm like, you know what? If that was just a Bigfoot movie, it would have been way better. Yeah, agreed, agreed. But and, like the Bigfoot. There's that part where he's standing there at the window. And they walk in and they look at him and the window's like backlit at night. And, just and you just see the out. you just see the squash like reach in through the glass and suck him out through the window. Like that was pretty cool. It was epic. Best Bigfoot death in a movie. How'd you sleep? Huh? How'd you sleep? Uh, pretty good. I don't know, man. I think once we get, like, moving, hopefully your body warms up and the joints start warming up again because we took an ass whooping yesterday. That was an ass whooping. Yeah. I talked about, like, oh, I think we can make it to the bridge before sundown. Like, that was possible, but... We'd be depleted or dead. It was, what is it? So we started hiking around 10, 9 30, 10? Yeah. And we probably stopped here about 5, 30, 5 o'clock, something like that. So what is that? We can't even do basic math right now. Put it that way. <laughs> like seven or eight strong hours? Yeah. I mean, I'm glad we stayed tonight. I, I, I honestly, the way I was feeling, even though after eating or, or whatnot, just from being sore and I fell those three times or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a pure accident. Waiting to happen. Well, all packed up here and uh, back at it again to do a bunch of creek crossings. It's so hard to film uh, crossing these creeks. You can't just like bust out or hold your camera in your hand because the ground's so unstable under you, but. I'll do my best to bring you guys along on this adventure. Uh, we have maybe a half mile to go to get back to the Bluff Creek Bridge. Let's do it. But I didn't really see it.
Oof. Kind of a relief uh, through these trees. You can see the bridge a little bit, and morally, that's nice to see. But the truth is, it's kind of an illusion. But it's kind of nice uh, to get out of the creek for a little bit. I keep saying creek. That's a that's nothing short of a river. We're hiking along, and we find some some bear scat here. Looks like it's full of full of berries. It felt like an eternity to get back to the bridge. You'd look up at it and do a bunch of hiking and then look up at it again. And it looked like it was just as far away as the first time you looked. It was a real relief to see our friend Harvey there with the binoculars waiting for us. All in all, we did an overnight up Bluff Creek further than anyone's gone in a long, long time. Check this out, very cool. It goes so deep right Yeah, it looks like it goes under there, doesn't it? Damn. Yeah. It looks rough even here, like you don't know what the current's doing underneath. And you see the little spirals right there, meaning that there is water rushing up there. Anyway, this is what we're going down. There's a Bluff Creek Bridge. That's where we gotta get to. It's probably gonna take us, even though it's right there, it's probably gonna take us an hour. There's a big old flood here in 64 because all this was backed up. That's how this canyon kind of came to be. We're just trying to figure out how high up is this the wall where the river was and blasted out or was it much higher. Just trying to find signs of uh, trying to play citizen geologist. What's up? Yeah, you think it's there? Well, we know now that there used to be a road in somewhere. I don't see any remnants of it other than possibly this plateau here because we found that mining equipment down there. You have to have a road to that. It's a pretty intense place where these canyon walls are just steep. Straight up and down in most places. survival situations a lot of people make mistakes they keep pushing it they get lost because they're getting tired they're getting more frustrated where is oh, yeah. right, we're telling them that yeah well we actually well terry was terry was at right we're waiting anybody want water soda beer yes beer well hell we made it back i have everything right here um chips we got the guy harvey here uh it's picking a couple of us up. A couple of us will stay here and rest, man. But glad that uh, we're lucky to not have snapped an ankle, broken a leg, broken an arm. Literally boulder climbing through a river for hours and hours on end. The answer to uh, the question of why nobody hikes up Bluff Creek, I feel, has fully been answered. Anyway, it's been real, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. My name's Jonathan Easley.